Welcome everyone to the Psycho Cell. I'm Shooting Up Me Psycho, and it's time to play some more Thief. Let's not stand on formalities or any kind of mumbo jumbo bullshit that I might think of to talk about. Let's just get the hell into it, shall we? Okay, so, if you guys remember from last time, we, uh, got ourselves onto a boat, and we've now come out here to an island. Um, and I don't remember why. <laughs> Objective. Reach the asylum grounds. Uh, okay, so we're looking for, well, something here. Of course, I have no idea what, because, well, I never played this before. And is that? Oh. Oh god. I feel like it's been ages since I played this, but it's really only been just what? A little over a week, I think. Which I know is a long time, and I apologize for that. Just uh I bought myself a new recording program and uh editing software recently, and I've been toying with those and well, it's taking a little bit more time than I anticipated to work out the kinks and figure out how to properly record. I'm done now. I've got it all nice and sorted out, but yeah, like my first Dead Rising game, it was supposed to come out last Wednesday or Thursday. It took me two days just to get the recording right, and then I botched it. Same with my Terra video. My last one, A Cautious Hideout, uh, same problem. But, like I said, I've finally, I think, worked out all the kinks, and hopefully it's all better. So, yeah, hopefully I can get back on track and try to get videos out more regularly. Where the hell am I going and what am I doing? Okay. Closed door. Am I sure I'm playing Thief? <coughs> this is starting to feel more like Outlast. Oh god. New objective. Enter the asylum. Yeah! Great objective! Let's go tour the abandoned madhouse. Brilliant idea. Hmm. What does that say? Edwina Moira. Hers was the dream the Baron brought to life. Sure. If you say so. Somehow I don't think I really need to sneak. Because, well, again, this is an abandoned lighthouse. Insane Asylum, and what the fuck was that? Um, why did that just sound like a door randomly opening? Because it was a door randomly opening. Oh, son of a bitch. This is really starting to feel like Outlast. What the? Ooh, shiny. Never mind. Outlast has no shiny. I've never actually played Outlast. I've given it some thought to do a Let's Play on it, but I've I've seen so many uh, Let's Plays of Outlast done, I don't think I could do it justice for, like, the scare reactions and whatnot. I do have a plan for my first horror genre hmm. game. Okay. Seems someone's expecting me. Sure, if you say so. Anyways... So yeah, I do have a plan for my first actual horror game, and uh, so far that plan is Alien Isolation. Um, but that's still a ways off. Oh shit, don't do that to me. Fuck. I want to go home now. What the hell? Oh shit. Ah, yeah, da. Oh my god, they're blinking. Ah! Shit. Is it the asylum that's haunted with me? What the fuck? God damn it. I 
I was so not expecting that. Oh my god. If Aaron was here, then the female ward is probably a good start. I wish I could say that that was fake. And that, but, oh my god, I've never actually been that scared it's kind of cool <laughs> and oh my god no visitors today no visitors today patient 63 received lord abercrombie <gasps> oh god excuse me i need to stop yawning uh patient number 18 received her patron no visit oh okay that has the air of somebody dying while writing it oh my god God. I was so not expecting that. Oh my god. I fucking just jumped out of my damn skin. This isn't even supposed to be a horror game. Whew. What the hell? Holy shit. Oh, I don't like that sound. Please tell me there's at least something in here to make up. Oh, fuck. Make up for the scare and panic that I just suffered <laughs> at my own damn stupidity. If I hadn't. I, I'm pretty sure if I hadn't just, you know, been running my fucking mouth and talking about horror games, probably wouldn't have been quite so unexpected. And yet, I did see the eye in the picture blink. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually been that scared of, like, a game or a movie or something before. God damn it, I'm doing it again. Holy shit. Oh. That's a broom. I was hoping it might be a gun. No, wait, I'm a thief. I don't shoot, kill people. What? Oh, what am I talking about? I have a bow. But, uh, I don't know if I have any... I don't have any ammo for that bow. At least not any ammo that... Oh, shit. Would do me any good. Stop it! Damn it, Garrett, open the drawer. Just open the fucking drawer! There. Pick lock. There better be something in here if I'm picking the lock. A ledger. What do we got? Receive patient number 18. Young female admitted by the state and delivered under guard. Condition moderate to poor. Numerous abrasions and broken bones. Arrived drugged and unconscious. Instructed to keep her that way due to extreme violent tendencies when not sedated. Moved to women's ward central seclusion for observation and treatment. So... Apparently, she was a little on the, uh, violent side. Can you blame her? I mean, shit. I remember the opening scene of this game. That's some creepy-ass shit they were doing. Of course, that didn't make me jump out of my fucking skin. Oh, my God. I'm going to be obsessing about that now, this entire episode. Holy shit. Oh. Fuck. What's on the other side? Um. Yeah, a faster way to get to where I don't want to go. That's just great. Alright, fine. Push the door open. Please, no jumpy scares. Close your blah. Okay. Oh! Now that's just rude. How the hell am I. Oh. Like that. And you know what? I'm gonna do it because. Oh, shit! Where do I gotta start back over from? If Aaron was here, 
in the female ward is probably a good start. Oh, fucking hell. Really? Alright. Let's do this quick. Ah. Uh, to hell with the loot. Um... There was something in here. There we go. Alright. That's good enough. Come on. Uh, were, uh, okay. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Is it X? No. There we go. I just want the food. There we go. Food. Nummy. Nummy. Food. Oh, hello. What did I find here? Oh, get down. Get down. 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 Get down. There we go. Secret area. Oh. Um. Oh. Okay, that's my way back. What's this? Eight, ten... And all, uh, whatever that is. It is through this lens of the author's experience that he shall explore this most mysterious of locales, the Moira Asylum, who some have called the Trickster's Playground, and yet which the educated know as a place of healing. It is the impression of the boy Baron that this house of wellness could be a source of great creativity and income for the people which she serves. She? Well, Moira, female, okay. Um, stairs? Do they go it? Oh! Any? Oh, really? Wait. This is not the same... Oh. Oh. I want to go home now. These Missing. are the Baron's locks. What's so important to him in an asylum? Huh. Interesting. That's a very good question. I can't do anything with that. So... Oh. Um... Oh... Me thinks I know where I am. And if I wasn't doing a Let's Play, I probably would have done a little more exploring. Another one. The voices are getting louder. Every time I go near her, they start screaming. My hands are shaking so badly I can't even sign the register. What do I do? My hair, my fingernails, my teeth. It's like I'm falling apart. I can't go down there again. I can't keep doing this. Dr. Stedman will understand. I'll explain myself and get transferred back to the city. Everything will be all... Oh, shit. Sounds like someone else died. And not by natural causes or disease. 
Uh, stop it. I don't want to peek. I want to loot. Shit. This place is suddenly turn starting to take on a really creepy turn. What do we got here? Policy on writing materials. Writing materials may only be used under strict supervision. Writing materials are to be provided only when the patient can express a distinct goal. No pens with metal nibs are to be given to patients. Self-expression is not a valid form of cognitive therapy. Right, because everybody here is delusional and mad and we really don't want them uh, killing themselves. What the hell? Okay. I'm looking for that key. I want to know what's inside the, uh... That's a big-ass spider. No, on second thought, I don't think that's a spider. That looks like hands. Oh, do I dare go in here. Oh, shit. Shit, what the fuck is that? That is fingers! Oh, okay. Oh. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Oh, shit. I just want the key! A crazy looking key for the vault. Stop it! It's not funny anymore! Guy! Hello? I don't know if this is such a good idea. Last time I looked through a keyhole, a hand-drawn picture blinked at me, and then somebody stared in my face. Okay. Uh, Shit. Oh, I'm curious. Is this where uh, that pot is? The teapot. Aha! Yes. Cool. Excellent. So, um, let's get back out of here. Oh, I just know something's gonna jump out and give me the heebie-jeebies again. Whew. Still not over the last one. Oh shit, another door. And it's usable. Hello! Who are you? That is one creepy ass mannequin. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Hi. Why is there suddenly a basketball in the room that wasn't there before? Oh, fuck me. can't touch it. It came from here. Okay. It may have bounced down. And, oh god, that's a lot of blood. Um. And there's water on the floor, too. Oh my god. This is not supposed to be a damned horror game. Or is it? I don't know. Some more food. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 
Ah, okay, no, that's just the broken glass on the floor. Um... Where am I going, exactly? Fuck. I think I found the alternate way up. Okay, okay. Everything is okay. It's just a haunted asylum. Nothing to be worried about. I'm just going to crap my pants in a few minutes, that's all. Perhaps there are some kind of medical records that could tell me more. Don't do that. I suddenly find myself deciding I'd rather deal with the city watch. Lessons? Lessons for mental health. Repetition soothes the troubled mind. A lack of excitement promotes healing. Noise is the enemy of well-being. Obedience is the first sign of recovery. Okay. And strangely, I'm... No, 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 no. No, bad news, no. But I have to know. Why is there... It's a fire. There's a fire in the corner. Another registrar. Patient 18 is an extraordinary creature. When not sedated, she seems she screams about thousands of voices and thrashes so violently that we had to triple her restraints. The main phrase she yells is for someone to wake up, but who she is talking is unclear. Who she's talking to. I had patient 22 brought into the treatment room several times in order to watch their interaction. He did not touch her, but became violent when removed from her presence. I can only hope Northcrest will allow me to attempt my new extraction technique soon. I had the device created specially for this task, and it would be a shame to let it rust simply because Elias can't handle a little blood. Okay, sounds like they were doing some shit in here that, uh... Probably not very humane. Won't someone bring Edwina her wine? She's been waiting so long. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Are there still patients in here? It. No, let's take a look. Well, I don't see anybody. That doesn't necessarily mean that there's no one in there. Fuck it. You know what? Let's get to our destination. Oh my god. All oh, the blood. This, uh, doesn't bode well. Again, this is not supposed to be a horror game. At least, I didn't think it was. It hasn't been so far. It's been running around causing mischief with guards, and killing a few. But... Uh... There's a fog coming tonight. A chill coming tonight. Stop Such talking a sea to me. Of change coming tonight. Stop talking to me. Oh dear God! What the hell did I just do? Where did I just go? Oh, hello. I've seen these before. The shrooms are back. Now, how how the hell did I just get up here? I was. I was trying to pick up some loot. 
Oh, shit. Okay. I really don't like the noise. The place does appear to be empty, though. What? Hey, who? Oh, there's a puppy back there. And I don't see a way to it. Ah, is that what, uh... Yeah, okay. Nothing? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Um... That looks like an alarm box. That is an alarm box. Or traps or something. Ah! Oh, hello paintings. Okay. No, that's not disturbing at all. Okay. I'm here. Now what? Read the logs. Got it. All patients have been exhibiting increased aggression of late. We had similar incidents last year when patient number 18 was in the central seclusion, but those ceased with her removal from reformation. Still on Still, the behaviors occurring now show disturbing similarities. Patient number 82 actually growled at me when I brought her meal this morning. A child should not be able to make those noises. All we can do is continue to provide the care that they need. I will not be responsible for sending any more patients to Huntfield's abattoir. Okay. Oh, my shadow. Thur, 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 thur. Pretty uh, station. <laughs> uh, a little bit of humor in there. All right. What else? Patient number seventy-nine has been experiencing increased delusions of demons in the corners. Recommended cognitive therapy with Doctor Stedman to calm her. Uh, next entry. Patient blah blah. Patient was. Patient was found to have drilled holes in his walls again. Moved to 7M and cautioned, and cautioned. Recommended no forks or knives during mealtimes to avoid recurrence. Next. Patient number 49 moved from 3M to 4M. Inconsistency of noise was disturbed, disturbing patient number 16 and causing him to scream at varied intervals. Next, patient number 78 continues to insist that her presence is accidental and that she is sane. Recommended lobotomization if her delusions continue. Patient 45 is evidence that the procedure is a massive success. Okay. Creepy people. Dr. Huntfield continues in the delusion that he should have jurisdiction over the entire asylum. Recommend he pull his head pull his head out of his arse and stop suggesting lobotomizations in the office logbook when I'm off duty. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so now we know who wrote the previous entry. Oh, God. What's with all the skeleton drawings? I mean, it's not even like they're, like, medical. They're, like, artistic in nature. But they're creepy as hell. Let's grab some loot here real quick, if there is any left, and uh, then check out this last book. Money, money, money! Finally, something that's not going to creep me the fuck out. The rest of this place certainly has. I could have told them you were in trouble. Let me see. It pains me to confirm your inquiry, but in fact, patient 18 will undergo procedure in room 3F as you fear. I thought we'd close the door on that room of horrors years ago. 
The subject is classified for selective experimentation on the instruction of Baron Northcrest himself. This is the last time I sign a patient over to the treatment center. They need doctors, not butchers. Huntfield will be taking over this subject in all aspects. I pity the girl, Thurlow. May she find peace somewhere in her madness. But what did you do? Show me. Okay. More creepy fun times in the spooky haunted asylum. Ah. <sighs> Shit! Okay! Stop doing that, please! Damn it, Aaron! Do you have to be so creepy? Let's grab this puppy now that I can. I'll come in useful later. If there is a later. Okay. Time to squeeze through the gap. Oh, hey, stop lagging. Stop lagging. Stop lagging. Oh, you bastard. Stop lagging. There's no reason for it. Alright, descend to the treatment level. <laughs> Joy or rapture. What's this? Confidentiality. Passing beyond this point constitutes a strict confidentiality agreement. Experimental techniques remain the property of their respective owners. Anyone found copying the use of these techniques is liable for treason under the Medical Act of NRY 839. Okay, so, in other words, we don't want you to realize or, or see that we're doing some fucked up shit down here. So, uh, we're gonna kill you if you find out. Pretty much how that sounded to me. Oh, shiny. A syringe. Okay. Here goes nothing. Damn birds. Wait. What was that? No, 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 no. What the hell was it? How did you dig up? No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Flashbacks. Great. How exactly am I supposed to get over there? Just... Okay. Sure. Why not? Oh, hey, stairs. Um, oh. Apparently, I'm supposed to be taking those stairs? What's down there? Ah. ah. I'm not gonna worry about it. Fuck. Stop it. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe I will worry about it then. This was not what I was intending, but hey, since I'm down here. Find room 3F. Oh, shit. All dead. All dead but the shadows. They were taken by the shadows. The shadows have been hungry since she went away. What? It changed down there. It changed in the dark. 
need to stop the shadows from spreading. Okay, I've heard enough. What's this do? Please don't open the door. Oh my god. How about this one? Uh, that's a doctor. That's a dead doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. The they're hurting me. There's too much pain. There's they may be hurting you, but you're scaring the shit out of me. Knock it off. What's in here? The ah! Okay. You're still alive. That could... Oh, God, I see where this is going. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. These doors need power. There's probably a generator down here somewhere. Oh. Creepy green light. Find the generator. Got it. Let's, uh, not alert the locals, because apparently there are some. What do we got here? Sensory deprivation. Doors are to remain closed at all times while room is occupied. Removal from the cares of the world is soothing for the soul. If you say so. No, I'm not looking at any more doors. Finding the one guy alive was 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 enough for me. Some more food. Okay. Oh, there we go. Power. What? Oh, shit. Find a way into the room. Well, now. I'm assuming that means I can't just go back the way I came. But I think I'm going to leave that for the next episode, because, well, this one's been going for a while, and, yeah, I'm scared the fuck out of my wits right now and I don't want to do this anymore at this moment or maybe I do I don't know we'll see but that's it for this episode so thanks everybody for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it please remember to hit that like button if you did and I will see you all next time right here in the psycho cell even the gravestone orders are drying up not enough room in the cemeteries anymore well, if I have to carve another child reclining on a headstone, or reclining on a headstone, I'll go mad.